Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. All right, next matchup on the Crown Jewel card was the OC versus the Judgment Day. AJ Styles, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows versus Finn Balor, Damian Priest, and Dominic Mysterio. So there's... There was a glaring elephant in the room. And it was something that neither, not many people forgot. I didn't forget either. And it was two weeks ago, AJ Styles, Carl Lanson, Luke Giles, they're all in the trainer's room. Uh, Carl Lanson got um, hit in the balls. <laughs> and they were talking about Rhea Ripley. They're talking about every single time they get the upper hand, she comes out of nowhere and takes it away. AJ Styles said, we need to find a way to neutralize her. That's what they said. That's what he said. Now, from there, everybody was kind of sitting there thinking, okay, that means a, a, another female is about to be entered into this, which actually makes a whole lot of sense because you need something to stop Rhea Ripley. Like, you need a, you need something. Like, either either, you know, another woman. Well, it has to be another woman, obviously. But, you know, you need somebody. My thing was this. Who the hell could be put in this situation? But I was not thinking of names. I wasn't putting no names out there because I just want to be surprised. Because if we're talking about anybody on the roster, there's not that many. There's not that many that could contend with Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley and a small woman. <laughs> Damn sure isn't. So the only people that you can really think about that kind of would equal her would be Raquel Rodriguez. But I wouldn't even put her in this situation. If not, like, it would almost be too obvious. Like, you want to be surprised. Because how many people were surprised to see the OC three weeks ago? How many people were surprised? I was surprised. But that's me not looking at news or whatever the case is because there was notes about it. But again, I didn't. I was surprised when I saw it. I was like, oh, snap. Okay, you know, so, but even so, last week, there was nothing. Monday, nothing showed. Judgment Day still decided to, well, Judgment Day still had the upper hand. Now I'm thinking, okay, Crown Jewel may happen. So I'm down. Crown Jewel, let's make it happen. So the match starts. Match is going as smooth as as smooth as you think. Everything is match is fine. Match is fine. I don't have a problem with the match. I think for me, I'm just more disappointed at the simplistic fact that nobody showed up. Nobody came to the rescue. Nobody made a surprise appearance. Nothing. But I get a feeling that the woman that's going to be handling the situation is going to be Beth Phoenix. So if that's the case, then, then we probably won't see that come to fruition, not until maybe Survivor Series in some way, if once the Judgment Day have a mat, have a, well, maybe the Judgment Day will be in War Games. I don't know. I don't know. But right now, I'm kind of disappointed. But it is what it is. As I said, the match was fine. I'm not going to lie to you. This actually is probably one of the matches. Actually, this were two matches I really almost didn't pay much attention to. And it wasn't because this match was boring or whatever. It was just that I was on the move and I had to move because I was kind of on my ass for those first three matches. So I was like, damn, I got to get my legs on. So I was, I was listening to it and watching. I was watching and moving, watching and moving. So I didn't really get to really see much of anything but you know i had to see the finish you know that, that was the only thing I, I could ever really catch was the finish but i did know carl anderson from most of his match was getting his ass beat that much i know judgment day made sure they tried their hardest to make sure that carl anderson did, got, did not get no tag and because of that he was getting his ass beat for it <laughs> but the match ended 
Exactly the same way damn near all the matches have been ending. Rhea Ripley, once again, pokes her nose into business that's not that she's not supposed to. AJ Styles looking for the phenomenal forearm. Rhea Ripley from behind takes him up, has him in an electric chair position, and just drops him, boom, face first on the mat. Rolls him back in. Finn Balor with the basement drop kick. Drop in the drop zone. Coup de grace. One, two, three. Judgment Day win. I didn't think Judgment Day win, actually. That's the funny part about it. I said that, you know, the OC would finally let the uh finally... They finally found the woman that they needed. She would be there. She would distract and yeah, she would distract Rhea Ripley. Boom, boom, boom. Now Judgment Day don't have Judgment Day don't have an equalizer. It's all even. Then AJ Styles probably hit the phenomenal form or 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 Styles Clash or whoever. One, two, three, boom, the OC win or the magic killer, whatever the case is, and boom, OC wins. Instead, same old stuff with Rhea Ripley. Judgment Day wins. I don't know if I'm mad at this or if the simplistic fact that the Judgment Day have been rolling. Like, Judgment Day have damn near won all of their matches recently. Which means the Judgment Day need to be in line for some type of title here. I'm just saying, like... <laughs> But then again, most, actually, damn near all the champions, actually, everybody except Bianca Belair is a heel. <laughs> I just thought about that. Every champion except Bianca Belair is a heel. So I don't think anybody, I don't think they can go for any titles yet. Unless you want to do Judgment Day versus the Usos, which I don't think that would be a bad match. That'd be a pretty good match. I don't know, man. Maybe that's just me, but we'll see. But yeah, Judgment Day get the win. We'll see what happens with them and the OC. Next match. Let's get it.